Hey guys, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to motion track using After Effects. But firstly what you're going to need is Camera Tracker 1.0 for After Effects and also After Effects CS5. So if you have CS4 this will not work, believe me I've tried it. Alright, firstly what you're going to want to do is drag your clip into Sony Vegas, like so. And then find the bit you want motion tracked. Sorry. <coughs> so, say if I want... I want some motion track on this tree or something. I'm going to choose the bit I want. So there. So I've just gone past the tree. So the text or whatever I'm motion tracking would have disappeared. And you're going to want to go file. Render. Uh, whenever I put um, files into After Effects. I always use AVI. Because it works a lot better with After Effects. And... You're just going to want to type in whatever. I'll name this tutorial. Tutorial. Uh, oh my god, I spelled it wrong. Fail. And then render. And then once that is rendered. Bum, 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 you're going to want to head into After Effects. Go composition, new composition. Make sure the uh, width and height is the same as the rendered video and the frame rate is also the same. I always make the duration just one second above like the length of the video and then you're going to want to go file, import, file, uh, duh, duh, duh. wow where is it, t, 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 tutorial, important, right. And then you're going to want to drag your clip into the timeline. And there is your clip. So as I said at the start of the video, you're going to need Camera Tracker 1.0. So you go over to Effects and Presets once you have installed it. And get Camera Tracker 1.0. You're going to want to drag that into your clip like so. And that will give you this on the left. All you have to do is pretty much hit Track Features. And what that will start doing is tracking your video. Right, hello guys and welcome back and as you can see the video has now got all these key points that are motion tracked very well. And what you're going to want to hit is solve camera and then that will just process all these key points. Uh, and now what you're going to want to do is find the key point with the most lifetime. So you can see at the top here it says track lifetime. Oh. Nope. Right. So, 110. Where does that go? Oh, God. Go away. Right. Where was that? 110. 110. Uh, let's have a look. So, that stays there until... So, right, yeah. I'm going to choose this key point. And all you're going to have to do is click it once. And then hold control. Click again and go down to ground plane and set the origin and once it's done that you just want to hit create a scene that will then create the scene and as you can see it's made this square box sometimes the uh, square box will be all the way out here somewhere don't worry about that when you've added your uh, text or whatever you want to motion track all you have to do is just drag it so you can actually see it in the video oh my god stop spamming me god damn you Upload that says that yeah whatever. Okay. So now you have the uh, origin set here, and all you're gonna do is get the thing you want to motion track. So I'll just type tutorial. I'll make that a little bit bigger. And go to down here in your timeline. All you're gonna want to click is this little button here. It's the 3D button boom and then all you're going to want to do is now oh my god you want to go back to that you're going to want to move it move it somewhere oh what am i doing script all right get the text text come on click on the text damn you okay so if i have the text there and i probably want to rotate it a bit uh, if I have it like 
uh, that. And then drag it up a little bit. And hopefully, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, that should be motion tracked, as you can see. I mean, it looks a little bit sloppy because of this. I had to uh, move it around and rotate it. I moved it a little bit too far than what I should have. If I move it there. Yeah, that, that looks better. So as you can see, that is now very well motion tracked. And yeah, that is basically the art of motion tracking. As I said, there's not, not really much to it. But um, yeah, to make the text look like a little bit better or the uh or whatever you want to use you just go to uh click on your text go to effects and presets and type in glow and just drag the glow into there and as you can see it sort of brightens it up a little bit and uh all i do i just like mess around with all these things i, I don't even know what half of them do but yeah i just mess them like, mess around with them until i think it looks good uh, the threshold up a bit. Actually, if I turn it down, it get brighter. No. Radius. Uh. So yeah, look, as you can see, it looks a lot better than what it did before. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope this helped. And I'll see you guys soon.